After a couple delays, the four members of NASA and SpaceX's Crew 8 mission are now on their way to the International Space Station. You saw it lift off live right here on WKMG late last night. And overnight, mission managers weighed in on just how things went. Mark Lehman is following the latest. And Mark, so far, things looking pretty good. Oh, yeah. No issues have popped up since the Falcon 9 rocket got off the ground last night. It was a spectacular sight that you may have been able to see from your backyard. The roar of the engines also marked a big moment for human spaceflight. Cheers coming from Mission Control as Crew 8 lifted off from Kennedy Space Center late last night. The three astronauts and one cosmonaut are now on their way to the International Space Station. Kind of like a roller coaster ride with a bunch of really excited teenagers. With the launch, a milestone was hit as 50 humans have now flown through the NASA SpaceX partnership. What an outstanding launch, you know. You heard how excited the crew was. We were just excited in the launch control center. Crew 8 overcoming days of weather delays to get off the ground. Also, about 30 minutes before launch, another potential problem was found. We saw a small crack on the side hatch seal at the top of the hatch. Main concern is re-entry. But after analyzing the crack, mission managers found it wasn't a safety issue. Eventually it was determined that the size of the, the defect or separation of that RTV seal was within the qualified limits of the design. So um, that was ultimately the flight rationale that cleared us for launch. Once Crew 8 gets to the ISS, they'll become part of Expedition 70. The four will be working on about 200 science and technology experiments as they're in orbit for the next six months. Crew 8 will be relieving Crew 7, who is expected to return to Earth later this month. The Crew Dragon Endeavor is scheduled to dock with the ISS around 3 tomorrow morning. Crystal? Mark, thanks. And if you want to see that launch again and go in-depth on the experiments the crew will be doing while in space, we have that information on ClickOrlando.com and our mobile, six, our mobile news app. Just look right on the homepage.